Okay, what we have here is an oxygen sensor. I ordered this from Amazon for about $100. And dealing with altitude training, it's really important to have to see exactly what levels of oxygen you're breathing in and how it would compare to different levels in the atmosphere. So what you want to do first is go ahead and turn it on. It's got a couple of different settings, but for what we're trying to do, uh, we're going to be on the 50 here. Normal air, atmospheric air, is going to be about 21%. So uh, we have a little pump here, and the pump, as you squeeze it, it actually uh, pulls air in through this side, which is why there's a little filter. Pulls the air in, goes across the sensor, and then out. So you can actually hook this into whatever you're doing and pump it so right now I am drawing air through and we're at 20.3 so I want to go ahead and dial it a little bit and bring it up to that 20.9 or right between that 20.9 and 21 so I'm kind of just dialing a little bit and there we go it's kind of flip-flopping in between which is exactly what I want to see cool so as I pump this, it's drawing the air. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my altitude tech generator. I've got it set on 12,500 feet. I'm going to turn it on, stick this in it, and pump it and see what this number drops to. All right, so my generator's on. The air is blowing out right here through the HEPA filter. So I'm actually going to stick this up in here a little bit and start drawing the air. So as I squeeze this, it's drawing the air through where I have this connected in. The number represents the percent of oxygen there. In normal atmosphere, it's right there at 21%. The majority of your total volume of air out there being nitrogen, which I believe is 78. Then you have CO2. The machine actually draws the oxygen out to simulate uh, an atmosphere that would put your body in hypoxia. So here's what we're getting right here. All right, well that's basically how it works. Thanks for watching and I'll be using this device uh, for other videos.